Hey, welcome back guys. In this video, we'll get familiar with some of the methods being used in the Selenium Base API. We will understand how it works and which one to use when. In the previous video, we looked into a couple of methods such as the open method as well as looked into some assert methods which is asserting the title as well as asserting this logo element over here. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that out first so that you can follow along easily. In this video, we're going to look into a couple more of Selenium Base API. So the first one we're going to look into is the click method. And then we're also going to take a look at how we can assert the URL. And then we're going to get the text of one of our header and then assert the value of that text. And then at the end of the video, we will also do a short exercise. So hope you guys are excited. Let's get started. So I'm going to head over to Selenium Base API documentation so that we can understand different API methods over there. So I'm here on the Selenium Base API documentation. And in a previous video, we looked into this already and looked at a couple of the um, open methods such as the assert methods. So in this video, the very first thing we're going to focus on is this self.click. So the scenario that we will be working through is, uh, let me head over to this practice.automationbrew.com. So over here, we're going to click on this get started button. Now this button doesn't really do anything. What it will do is, if you notice at the very top, it will change the URL. It will add the get started at the end of this URL here. So if I click on this, that's what it does. If you notice, it adds this get started with the pound sign in the beginning. So this is what you're going to do. We're going to click on this. And after that, we're going to verify whether this URL has this thing that get added on the top. So let's take a look at how we can actually do that. So I'm going to go back to PyCharm. And here, we're going to first thing we have to do is click on the get started button. Now to click on this button, I'm going to just do self.click. And the ID for that is actually get started. So I'm just going to type that in here, get started. And you can go ahead and find the ID by yourself if you want to. But in this case, I already know the ID. So I'm just going to put that here. So this will actually click on the button. The next thing we need to do is get the URL. The moment we click on this, it changes the URL, right? So to get the URL, I can use a method called get current URL. That can do self dot get current URL. What this does is it will provide me the current URL that's there on the browser. So once I do this, it will return me a string. So some kind of text, which would be my URL. So I can store that string. So I can store it here by just saying get started URL. And then I will store it in this variable. So now we just need to assert a URL. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do self.assert. And here I have something called assert equal. So I'm verifying two statements over here or two basically parameters the first parameter as well as the second parameter. The first parameter would be the get started URL. This would be the current URL that we just got. And then I need to verify it with the URL that we're expecting it to be. So the URL that I'm expecting is if I head over back to my website, I'm going to copy this entire thing. And then I'm going to go back to PyCharm and I will paste that over here. There you go. So what we're saying is, hey, when you get the current URL, the current URL should match this URL. That's what we are doing with assert equal over here. So it will just check two parameters over here. So let me run this and see if this would work for us. So to run this, we're going to use the pytest command and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, there you go. We ran our test and it successfully passed. So that's pretty awesome. So this is working. Now, one thing to notice here is we are actually entering the entire URL here. But what if I just want to verify like just the end part over here? I want to say that, okay, in my URL, all I want to make sure is that the get started part is there. I don't really care about what's there in the beginning. I just want to make sure that this part at the end is actually there. Now to do that, what we can do is do something called partial verification. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to use another assertion. I'm going to do self assert true. So I'm here checking for a value or an expression that's actually going to return me true. So here, what I will say is that the get started text, I want my get started text in the URL. So I'm going to say in, and then I'm going to say get started URL. So what here I'm doing is I'm saying, Hey, the get started text, which is the string over here, it should be part of this get started URL that we're getting over here. If it's there, that means our assertion is working. If it's not there, that means it's not working. So I will run this again and see if this would work for us. Okay, so my test actually failed over here and it's saying that false is not true. And I just realized the reason for that is because I did get underscore started. Instead, it should be get dash started. So at least we know that our session is working. So that's good. So I'm going to fix this again, change it to get started and then run this again. 
Okay, so this time when I ran, my assertions passed. So everything is working. So basically, just to quickly review, like what we are doing here is we're saying if this text is in part of this get started URL, then give me a true value. If it's returning true, that means our session is working. If this return a false statement because it's an expression, if it's saying it's not there, then this assertion would fail, which we just saw just a while ago. All right, so now we were able to verify by clicking on this get started button as well as asserting the URL. And we did this two ways. One is by asserting the entire URL and another one is just verifying the partial text. So that's good. The next thing we're going to do is get the text of the header and then assert the value of that. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to go back to my website over there, which is practice.armission.com. And here I have this header, think different, make different. So let's try to get this text and then assert the text. So I'm going to right click here and do inspect. So if you notice that this is an H1, so over here, this is an H1. And this is also going to be unique. So if I just check for this, yeah, this is unique. So we have just one H1 here. So using this H1 tag, we're going to try to get this text and then verify the value of the text. So let's see what assertions we can use here. I'm going to API reference here. And then API reference, I'm going to check for something with assert text. I'm going to search assert text. Okay, so this is there. So it's doing assert text. So it all it takes is uh, basically a text and a selector. So it's good for us because we know the text, which is this entire things, uh, think different, make different, and our tag is H1. So I'm just going to copy this text first. I'm going to do right click, edit, and then just copy this entire thing, and then head over to PyCharm. All right, so to get the text of the header and assert the value, we can just use single assertion here, which would be our self.assert text. And what this would do is, we just need to provide the text that we're trying to verify, which is this text. And then I wanted to provide the um, selector. So in my case, the selector is the H1 tag. So I will just pass that in. So let's take a look at what exactly is happening. So if I press in control here and then click on this assert text, what this would do is open up this new base case class for me. So this is the same class that we're actually importing here. So if I go there into this base case class, I can see what's happening with this. So the exact definition of what happens when we actually go ahead and access the assert text method. So here, what it's trying to do is it's trying to wait for the text to be visible. And I can actually go here again to see what that is doing. So what that does is it waits for this particular text to be available. So what it's doing is it's going in and checking if that this text is available for this particular H1 tag. So that's what it's actually trying to do. So let me run this and see if this would work for us. All right, there you go. Our session passed. So that's pretty awesome. So what it actually did is it went to this H1 tag. It got the text from that H1 tag and then it verified whether the text is basically this. So that's pretty good. Okay, so now we looked into a couple of the APIs of Selenium Base. We looked into the click method. We looked into assert equal, assert true and assert text. So now it's time for an exercise. So this is what I want you guys to do. Let me just remove this. So as part of your exercise, what I want you to do is I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom and assert the copyright text. So let me head over to the Chrome and then show it to you what I mean by it. So here I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom and here we have this copyright text. So if I just go over there and access this and let me just expand this. So this copyright text, I want you to get this text and then assert this entire text, which is copyright 2020 automation bro. So this is what I want you to do as part of this exercise. So go ahead and pause this video and try this on your own. So I'm going to wait for a bit and then we will get started with the solution. All right, were you guys able to figure that out? So let me show you how I will do this. I'm going to go over to this API reference here. And the first thing I want to make sure is how I can scroll to the bottom. So I'm going to search for scroll here and see if they have this specific method. So here I can see that they have some method here, scroll to. Slow scroll to scroll to top and scroll to bottom. Okay, so this is something that I think that might work for me. So I'm going to use this. And after that, I just need to assert the text. So to assert the text, I am going to be using this class here. So let me see if this is unique. Yeah, so this one is actually unique. So this one is just a comment. So that's fine. So I'm going to be using this class. So that's good. So I'm going to head over to PyCharm and then actually try to implement this. Okay, so the first thing, like we said, we have to scroll to the bottom. So I'm going to do self dot scroll to bottom. So hopefully they should scroll all the way to the bottom. And then from there, I'm going to assert the copy text. So I'm going to do self dot assert text. 
and I need to provide the texture which I haven't copied yet but I'm going to paste in the selector that I copied from there and I'm going to quickly head over back to uh, Chrome and then copy the text. So I can just copy the text from here and then go back to PyCharm and paste the text here. So let me run this and see if this would work for me. Okay, awesome. So that did work. So it actually scrolled all the way to the bottom and it was able to assert the text of this entire thing. So if your solution was different than me, that's okay too. Maybe you ha might have done that. You got the text through this and then you asserted the value of that. So what I mean by that is, let's say if I do print and here I try to get the text of this, I can do that by doing self.getText and I can get text of this entire element here. So this way it would actually return the text from this entire element and the text that it would return is this. And then I can probably do like assert equal there. So I would say the text that I got back is equal to the text that I'm looking for, which is this. So that's another way of doing this. So either way, either you do this way or you do it this way, both are totally okay. All right, so that's all I'm gonna be covering in this video, guys. Let me do a quick review of what we covered so far. So we looked into different of Selenium based APIs. We looked into the open method. We looked into assert title, assert element. We then took a look at in this video, how we can click an element how we can get the current URL of the particular element and then how we can assert a value. So we tried it using the equal value and then we can try it also using the expression value. So using assert true, which returns true or false value. And then we also take a look at how we can assert the text of a particular element using the assert text method. And then as part of the exercise, we looked at how we can scroll to bottom or scroll to top if maybe that was the case and then how we can assert the text. So similarly guys, there are way too many APIs over here as part of the Selenium based API. You can keep going here and try to get familiar with it. In some of our future videos, we will be touching a lot more of these over here. So try this out on your own. Try to get familiar with some more APIs over there. If not, you can just follow along with the future videos so that you can get a better understanding of how Selenium based API works. That's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Also leave a comment below if you have any questions related to this video or if there's some other topics you would like me to create content on. That's all for now guys. I will see you all in the next one.